Hello, and in today's lesson, we will be finding a reason to keep going, and much like variables, it can be pretty hard to find. So to start, we'll be covering the first law of motion. This is by Isaac Newton, the first law of motion. Okay, let's go ahead and get this written down. Get it written down. So it basically should state that every body continues in its state of rest or motion unless it is compelled to change by an outside force. State of rest or motion, unless it's compelled by an outside force. Okay, and with this example, let's go ahead and pretend, let's get this written down, let's go and pretend that you are the variable x. Oh, this is the wrong color. Okay, let's go and pretend that you are the variable x, okay? And this is you. And let's pretend that there is an outside force we will call y. We don't know what this is. It's an outside force. So if f of x, which is the force of x, u, does not interact with the force of y, f of x, actually let's get this in a different place, f of x, does not interact with f of y, meaning that they're not equal, then everything will continue to stay at rest or in motion, preferably at rest, because you are probably sitting down watching this video. However, if we change the y to mean your interests, I mean, your hobbies that you only like to do, this means that the force of x has to interact with the force of y, which means that you if x is u, you will interact with and will be equal to your hobbies. Thus meaning that we can conclude that the best way to find a reason to keep going, to keep going, is by looking within. Looking, uh, let's get this typed down. Looking within for your true self. So this will conclude today's lesson. And in the next one, I will be covering if whether your parents are disappointed in you or not. Go ahead and click that subscribe uh, if you want to see my previous lesson on using math to show why you have no riz. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Bye.